Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness dot com. To present Mike his trophy, representing bodybuilding.com, we've got Eric the trainer. Eric, you can say a few words to Mike. All right, let's hear it for Mike. Now, for those of you that are not aware, Mike not only inspired the crowd at Gold's Gym in those days and today, but also people from around the world have come up to me and told me that this incredible bodybuilder has inspired them to stay in great shape. Let's hear it for this Iron Man. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out to celebrate. First and foremost, 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 I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And me for picking up all them heavy weights. <laughs> I never thought when I was 16 years old in my old friend Kenny Robinson's backyard lifting weights that my life would be so effective in the body dope. Initially, I started weight training to get my body ready for rival street gangs. But as I grew into a man, my outlook on life changed and bodybuilding became a vessel for me and my family. Yeah. I also developed a passion to be the best in the world. My first inspirations came from my friend from the hood, Inglewood, California, and it was Raymond Washington and Sally Turkey Williams. We called them buff to the huff. My second inspiration came when I was 19 years old, a former Mr. America, Chuck Amato, came up to a young white Christian, first out of youth authority, and convinced me to put on the dang little shorts. <laughs> Mike Christian, Mr. America, Mr. Universe, Mr. World, father, husband, and one founding member of the Inglewood West Side Crips. <laughs> that was fucking funny. <laughs> uh, uh, gunshot survivor, and yes, one time drug abuser. My many relations, relationships and forms of my income has changed, but throughout my life, one thing has always remained the same in my 40 years, and that was fighting them. The sport has provided me so many personal memories. One of my favorites is, is, is as when I was in Gold Sand Business, I was working out on the leg press, and I had it stacked to the max. I had to ask one of the Paul Barian brothers, David Paul, which was way over 275 pounds, to sit on a rack. <laughs> These five memories has carried me through low points in my life, and memories last forever. No one is successful without great people in their life supporting you. First, I would like to say to my mother, Claudia, who raised me and was my mother, died when I was nine years old, the gift of life. Thanks to my father, Garnet Christian, who always wanted me to win because he loved bragging about his son. <laughs> I want to also thank Von Ray Johnson, my first workout buddy, who always kept me pumped up. Uh, Charles Glass for taking me to the next level. Yeah. I want to also thank Joe Weider, rest in peace, for providing the sport of bodybuilding, and Jim Manning for continuing the tradition. Also, I want to thank Jeff Behar and, for recommending me, and Joe Wheatley for making this all happen. <laughs> Leon Watkins and the Barbarian Brothers for provi providing me a place to stay earlier in my career. I would also like to thank my brother Wayne for being a great help during my startup with my business, Platinum Everywhere, and continuing encouragement. You're telling me, I know. All oh, really. Every time she sees a man on stage. Uh, CJ Esters, my daughter's mother, who always provided a great attitude and helped me through my difficult times. To keep a Christian, my firstborn, and the greatest Christmas gift ever. Later in life, she proved to be just that again by supporting me through my darkest stage. Thank you, baby. I love you, wherever you are. That's my girl. There she is. I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, I love you. Um, uh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank Yvonne. Uh, I want to thank my fiance Yvonne for taking up the baton after my daughter Takiba and helped me rebuild my life. 
be 60 years. I've always been had some good and bad relationships. But Yvonne has helped me restore my faith in women and given me another chance on love. Yeah. That was good, girl. To carry you. Uh, as I bring this speech to a close, I want to thank you all for coming out and celebrating this special occasion with me, and all my fans for sticking through with the Iron Warrior through my journey. I appreciate it. Yeah. I thank you all. I leave here to Mike Christian, Paul LaFamber. Yeah. All right. Give it up for the Iron Warrior. Mike Christian in the house. Yeah. The Iron Warrior. All right, thank you, Mike, and congratulations. <laughs>